I'm Stephen Backey, I'm a Neurology Registrar, uh, currently at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. My name is Josh, I'm uh, currently an RMO doing full-time research at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital um, within the discipline of surgery. The applications of artificial intelligence in healthcare are nearly endless. The prediction of outcomes, for example, predicting deterioration, who's going to have a met core or code blue ahead of time, can potentially save lives. The early detection of deterioration like sepsis has been shown to improve outcomes in other healthcare systems. The prediction of aspects of hospital supply and demand can help plan healthcare services and systems. For example, predicting when patients will leave hospital, predicting which patients are at the highest risk of returning to hospital can help plan services for them to mitigate those risks and help them remain at home. AI can be integrated within a variety of electronic systems. In the future, hopefully, it can be integrated within the electronic medical records, so clinicians can use artificial intelligence to help their practice while using that system, but also it can be used in things such as apps as well. It could be considered that a patient may interact with artificial intelligence via a chatbot where they can ask it information and gain insights into their own healthcare condition. It's possible that a patient may be able to interact with artificial intelligence whereby they have an application on their phone and it provides them with information about their hospital stay and what's planned in the future. It's also possible that patients may be able to interact with artificial intelligence to gain insights from their own information so that they can see how trends are progressing and use it to review aspects of their own imaging. For example, hypothetically with developments such as the Adelaide score, it would be an ideal to deliver an app for a patient or a tablet for a patient whereby they can see their own hospital progression in front of their eyes and see when they're predicted or planned to be leaving hospital. However, we also need to evaluate this to help make sure that this additional information, while superficially useful, is actually improving the experience for the patient and their outcomes. Currently in Adelaide, there's a lot of AI research that's very exciting. There's studies looking at the education of AI, studies looking at a variety of patient populations for discharge prediction and readmission prediction, and also things about predicting risk uh, within a variety of populations. We are currently conducting a research study that is using artificial intelligence to identify individuals who have potentially erroneous penicillin allergy labels so that a medical team can then go and assess that allergy and potentially de-label the allergy. This approach would then enable a patient to move forwards with access to first-line antibiotics, which may be life-saving. In the future, we see AI as an integrated function within the healthcare system, particularly as a lot of patient information is shifting towards electronic around the world. We hope that artificial intelligence can be integrated seamlessly. However, it's very important again that we need evidence to support everything we do in medicine. We practice evidence-based medicine. It is necessary to have the evidence that every artificial intelligence change we make is improving meaningful outcomes. We need to do this with trials. We need to do this with carefully considered studies. We hope to be able to deliver that in the future.